our channel. My name is Elisa and I hope everyone is doing well at home. In conjunction with the World Autism Awareness Month, we are doing a series of videos to guide parents on the steps to help their child with autism to strive well in the society. In this first episode, I will be sharing with parents on the first intervention steps after getting a diagnosis from the relevant professional. The first step is to attend Early Intervention Program or EIP. Every centre may promote either in a group intervention or one-on-one -on -one intervention, depending on the child's needs. EIP focuses on social skills, behaviour modification, school readiness, motor skills, independency and communication skills. As we know, one of the common issues that individual with autism has is sensory issue. Example, a child with autism may have oral seeking behavior. The child seeks oral stimulation by putting non-food items in their mouth or even biting non-food items. In this situation, we will suggest parents to attend occupational therapy. What is occupational therapy? Occupational therapy is a therapy that will work on sensory related issues, fine motor, gross motor, and the basic ADL, example, self-feeding, toileting, and many more. By attending occupational therapy, it will help to reduce the sensory related behavior. This will prepare the child for school readiness and be able to cope functionally daily activity as independent as possible. But what about communication? As we know, most individuals with autism have difficulty in expressing their needs and wants. This is where speech therapists come in. As a speech therapist, they will work on the child's expressive and receptive language. They will also work on the child's speech such as poor articulation or stuttering. The speech therapist also will introduce various ways to promote communication skills. There are cases whereby the child is non-verbal. Speech therapists will suggest using AAC such as Picture Exchange Communication Skills, also known as PACS, Communication Board, or Sign Language. As I mentioned earlier, there are centers that promote group EIP sessions. This is a stepping stone to help the child get ready in learning and adapting in a group setting. As we know, in the group setting, the child needs to be independent, able to communicate the needs and wants. This environment is to help parents prepare the child to enter the mainstream education system. Dear parents, it is very important to look at the child's development and what are the areas that the child is lacking. From them, you can have an idea which intervention will be suitable for your child. Do also take note to make sure that the therapist that you attend has the relevant qualification to conduct the session. I do hope that today's session will be informative to all parents, especially to those new parents that are clueless on how and where to start the intervention. Stay tuned for the second episode where we will share on getting the child ready for school. Until then, bye-bye. Take care, everyone.